This video is for people who feel like when they wake up in the morning they have really stiff muscles and it takes them 20 to 30 minutes to work out the kinks and they feel like they're aging. Um, uh, I used to have to wear orthotics in my shoes and it's like my feet ached when I stood a lot. Um, other things that I want to talk about are if you feel like you are walking on pins and needles right when you first get up, like your feet have those pins and needles. Um, also, if you have had muscle spasms and uh, possibly pinched nerves that your, your body's like, Ugh, you know, those types of things. Um, maybe if you, when you work out and you afterwards, when you're done, you have to roll out your muscles to get them to feel good again or you have lots of aches and pains. Um, and also this video would apply to people who have had, feel like they're having memory loss or maybe their memory is not as sharp as it used, used to be. Um, the reason why I'm talking about all of these different areas is because that's me. I'm describing what I used to feel like and I am a very curious person and I'm a pro science person. I, I love to study the new things that are happening in science, the new discoveries, and I'm, I'm a believer that our bodies are designed to heal themselves if given the proper building material. So I'm a believer that we get sick either because we have too much of something or we need something to help us and that your body is a map. It has the DNA, the genetics to create what it's already created and to rebuild what has been created. If given all of the, the rest and the nutrition and the energy that it needs, it can do that. When I find something that's scientific, like I will find an item and then uh, I'll go, oh my goodness, there's, there's some evidence. But I will find out if, if that evidence is scientifically proven on that angle, and then I'll get another perspective from somewhere else and find out if that's proven. And I don't take it just from one angle. I take it from multiple angles because I want to know that it's going to work, not just because one person tried it and it worked, or one doctor says, this is the way I see it. Um, funny thing of it is, back in the day, when before they knew about germs, there was a doctor who said, you know what, I'm noticing that all of these babies, or all of these mothers are dying after they give birth. And I'm thinking that it's because the doctors aren't washing their hands. And uh, I don't have all of the science, I don't have all of the knowledge, but, but uh, this is what I'm thinking. And so he started to have the doctors wash their hands and they resisted, they didn't believe him. Um, they resisted. And yet, now we know that those are germs and we need to wash our hands. So simple things like that. And you might be thinking, oh, that's clear back in the Stone Age. That was like 120 years ago when that happened. That's not very long. That's, that's not very long at all. Science has improved and developed so much since then. We've discovered so many things. And we're still discovering things today. So I keep my mind wide open and I try to get sources from multiple different doctors, multiple different angles. <clears throat> the four things that I'm going to make different videos on, the first one that I found the most fascinating is that our bodies create hydrogen. Now, before, just less than seven years ago, when they would find hydrogen in the body, and I'm not talking about water, I'm talking about molecular hydrogen, the gas. When they would find that in the body, they would just say, oh, it's an inert gas. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't, so it's just a gas. And then another video I'm going to talk about the amount of magnesium that is absorbed into our bodies. We know that magnesium is an essential 
element. Magnesium. You know what? I have a hardest time spelling magnesium. I spell it all the time, but it's funny. Okay, we. I take a daily. I used to take a daily supplement of four magnesium, and I still had aches and pains. I still had Charlie horses. I still had all this sore muscles, and I did not know how magnesium is absorbed into the body, and that taking a supplement may not be your solution. There may be other ways to get magnesium to help our bodies absorb that magnesium and why it isn't being absorbed. But I'm going to make a whole video on that because it's that empowering, it's that amazing, it's changed my life so much. The other thing is the amount of water that we consume or the liquids that our bodies need. Holy cow! I did not know that if I just drank the minimum amounts, my poor kidneys have to recycle the water that's in my blood over and over again and filter out the toxins and urinate out those toxins. You'd be surprised how many people are walking around dehydrated and their brains can't think properly because they're not getting enough liquids. And that's simple. That is the simplest thing. It's, it's like the pure and simple things of life or the things that help us the most. And we always, and no, no, not we always, there are people who are like, oh, I've got problems. I need to go get some medication. And then you have side effects from that. When water, don't overlook the importance of water. So liquids. Uh, and then the last thing I want to talk about in a video that I find fascinating is I did not realize the numbers of people in the United States and in developed countries that have parasites in their body. And I did not know that you could get them when you were a little child licking a dog licking you in the mouth or you picking up something off the ground and sticking it in your mouth and you can get parasites in they can continue in your body for 20 or 30 years without even showing any signs. And, and oh, this one, I'll tell this later, of a true story that happened with the parasites. But um, that is the four videos that I'm going to make right now. And my story is going to have to deal with parasites in my own family. And it's, it's an amazing story. But uh, please... If you know anybody who has some of the symptoms that I've talked about, have them watch my information and hopefully they can overcome it on their own, let their body heal on their own and they don't have to continue to be in pain as they wake up in the morning and continue to feel like they're growing old. That's what I thought. Oh, I'm just growing old. Well, in the last few years, I have been growing younger and getting back the things that I had lost. Things like my eyesight has come back. Now I can't promise everybody's eyesight is going to come back. Everybody's different. But for me, I used to have to wear glasses in the morning so I could read anything. I could not read anything without my glasses. And I, it's true that I did get my glasses when I was at the age of 48. Um, but by the age of 50, 51, I was like, oh my goodness, I can see again. And it's because of the things that I was doing. These things right here, hydrogen, magnesium, liquids, and I didn't know about the parasites at that time. I'm applying that now. But those three things, those specific things, are the ones that helped me gain that eyesight back. And I'm sure that someday as I grow older, my eyesight might fade again and I have to go back to wearing glasses. But right now, they're still improving. It's just incredible. You, you have no idea. Anyway, like I said, I can't promise everybody's going to get their eyesight back. And maybe you already have perfect eyesight. But things are happening to me because I'm doing this. And I'm sharing this with you because I want these things to happen for you as well. My name is Keith Allred. I am an empowerment trainer and a life coach. And I help people become healthier, happier, and have better success in their endeavors. Thank you.